Hi everyone, Kerry here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing great today. So today I have an apartment reno for you. I know I did one a few days ago, but I just feel like I want to renovate apartments today. <laughs> and this one is one from the Evergreen Harbor World. That's the one that came with the whole lifestyle pack. So this is the Pinecrest Apartments number 402. Um, I don't remember exactly the name of the neighborhood. I'm pretty sure this is Conifer Station, but I'm, I'm not sure. Or maybe it's the other one. I don't remember. I, I haven't learned the names from this world, even though this is kind of the world that I play the most in. <laughs> but um, yeah, I wanted to do this apartment reno because I've renovated all the other apartments so far. So I wanted to do something in, in this one that was the last one, I think. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna still um, renovating uh, more apartments here because I really like them. They're really nice and I love the, the idea that these apartments have the um, smaller uh, wall height so they're more realistic. And also one thing is that um, this apartment was renovated once I activated all the green initiatives and also the modern development maps. So this is the most developed apartment version. So in case you don't know how to do that, you just have to do it uh, while playing. Well, if you play without any cheats, you can just uh, go to the boards that are like on the streets and stuff like that and just vote for the naps and wait for them to win. So they will automatically um, start working. But if you want to cheat, you can do it as well. Just you have to enable them on the boards as well and you will just have them immediately working as well so that's what i do in this save file because i don't play here i have another one in which i play so this one is cheated <laughs> but yeah i i wanted this version because uh this has the more the most um beautiful windows and it looks better that it has like a better condition in the apartment so yeah i i wanted this apartment to be really developed because this is a plant lovers apartment so they need a lot of light and stuff and with the small windows that are when you start playing with this apartment um it, it wasn't just it wasn't working so I used this one that is the most developed one and yeah, you can see that there's a lot of light coming through the windows. So this is an apartment that it's a one bedroom, one bathroom apartment. It has space for two sims because of the double bed, you can access it from both sides. So I decided that this apartment would be for plant lovers because I think I've built a plant lovers cottage in the past, but I never renovated an apartment and I really wanted to do it. Um, I'm not so into plants. I mean, I have one <laughs> and I really love it, but I'm, I'm not such a plant lover, I would say, but I know a lot of people are, so I wanted to do something for them. And also this world works perfectly for all the green initiatives and environment things. So I thought a plant lover's apartment would be perfect for this world. And you're seeing that I'm using uh, a lot of different packs for this build and w this is the most um, creative thing that I did actually in the whole build that was just um, putting together the TV stuff from Tiny Living and also the desk or something like that like an uh, like, uh, accent table I think from Nifty Knitting so these packs work so good together also i use a lot of parenthood stuff because also this pack works really good like the three of them work really good together but it is, this is not a pack restricted build so there are a lot of other different packs um also remember that every time i use blinds in this in any build they are all from my first pet stuff because i think they're the the best ones so that's the only thing that you will see in this apartment, at least from my per my first pet stuff. So if you don't have that pack, um, you can just replace the blinds from with another thing. So I don't know, but you will see I'm using a lot, a lot of plants. I did my best not to repeat any of them. It was hard because I'm really selective with the plants in this game and I just like some of them. So it was really hard for me, but I'm doing my best here. So you're seeing 
that I try to make it as realistic as possible so all the succulents and stuff are really close to the window so they get all the sunlight they can get and I don't know uh, there are I'm, I'm not I don't know any names of the plants actually, I just know like succulents and some flowers and that's it. <laughs> but um, I'm not such, um, I, I don't know that much about them so sorry if I don't mention them. <laughs> I don't know how the, the best conditions for plants and or, or anything like that. And I know these plants are not functional, like they don't need actually the sunlight or stuff but I just wanted to do it as realistic as I could. Also here in the kitchen, uh, you can see the um, coffee machine that it's on the um, on the microwave, like above the microwave. That's not functional. The microwave is, but the coffee machine is not because it's si is raised up. Um, you saw it when I placed it. If you missed it, I used one of the island cabinets and I sized it down and I put the coffee machine in there and then I just um, raised up the counter so it looks like it's on something like in this case on the microwave like above the microwave <laughs> but anyways uh this is the bedroom um it was it was kind of difficult for me to feel it because um uh it i didn't know exactly what to place like i i wasn't sure if i needed to put like more plants here or something but i wanted to use this wallpaper this is a base game one and I've used it a few times, but I'm still not so in love with it to use it more often or to use it as an accent wall in the living room area here in this apartment. So I used it in the bedroom and also I found out that this uh, uh, shelf from Eco Lifestyle and this dresser from I don't remember exactly what pack maybe get together I'm not sure have the exact same swatch color in the in the wood tones so they were perfect so I merged them as well oh this is this is the second thing that it was really creative in this apartment <laughs> but yeah I placed a lot of things in here more plants I love this one from seasons the dog one I like that um, more than the cat one because I like dogs more than cats <laughs> but i also used the cat one in the kitchen at the very end of the video you will see it so i placed more things because i found out that you can put things on those windows the ones from eco lifestyle but i mean i knew we can do it like um putting the plants or the things outside the the build and then raise them up and stuff but i didn't make it work like in the apartments so I wasn't sure I could do it but then I realized that they have a spot so you can actually put them like without using any without using move objects I'm pretty sure so they have a spot you can put in there and and they and they stay there so you will see that I realized that but I don't I don't know if if you will actually see <laughs> like the specific thing that I'm talking about but you can still do it and you will see it when when I put the plants in there I don't know if I was clear I hope I was but if, if I'm not if I wasn't clear just don't pay attention to that <laughs> but I use the same blinds and the same curtains from the living room here so the my first pet stuff blinds and also the curtains from Eco Lifestyle I really like them I like the swatches of the Eco Lifestyle curtains but because they're really similar to other ones I'm pretty sure the seasons ones uh, I really like so these are like a complement to that yeah and I didn't have a space to put like a desk area or anything like that so they have a laptop on the counter the island counter so your sims living here can just uh, put the laptop on their inventory and here I was trying to use that yellow uh, tub but um, it wasn't it wasn't fitting there like the color scheme or anything like that because that uh, color swatch has flowers so I thought they would suit but um, it just the color the yellow one was really really not working and the green and stuff they were really nice so I wanted to use that one so every room in this house and this apartment has um, plants in some way and here you're gonna see what I was referring to when I said you can put things on the windows but because I'm moving here with the with the move objects sheet but then when I place this one you will see that it just snaps to it and and it works it's just like 
I don't know, it works. <laughs> But yeah, that's the end of the video, so remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the speed build and also follow me on social media, the links are all in the description down below and I'll talk to you guys in the next video, enjoy the screenshots, goodbye! Working on our body language, working on our body language, baby. Now